Well, hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. The last part, we took down the trainers of Celadon Gym and caught ourselves a Raikou. In this episode, we're going to be taking down Erica. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. You're pleasant. Okay, whatever. Uh, nothing. I didn't mean anything. I'm afraid I might doze off. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of the Celadon Gym, and you can have lovely weather inside of a gym if you're Erica. Oh, all the way from Johto, you say? How nice. I'm so sorry, I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. Oh, you jerk! You... Ah. Uh, I had no idea you wanted to challenge me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, here's Erica. Erica's gonna start off with a Tangela, level 42, with the moves Vine Whip, Bind, Giga Drain, and Sleep Powder. This thing's not really tough. It'll try to put you to sleep, though, but it really can't do much else other than that, though, because its other attacks just aren't that powerful. Giga Drain is horrible. It just doesn't have that high of power. And yeah, you do recover half the damage you do, but unless you have, like, a quad weakness on the foe, you don't do a whole lot. And it's already down. What did I say? Okay. Her next Pokemon she's going to be going for... Blossom! Blossom's actually her strongest Pokemon, so if we can take this thing out, we're good. Blossom, level 46, Sunny Day, Synthesis, Petal Dance, and Solar Beam. That thing actually has a nice sprite in Crystal. Uh, on the sidebar, you're seeing the gold sprites. I gotta say, Crystal Sprite looks really good compared to the gold one. Ugh. Okay, so, uh, Blossom didn't go down in for- Oh, Jesus! It's for, for Solar Beam! Yes, this thing is gonna, like, try to lay down a Sunny Day and possibly use Solar Beam. Uh... Don't Solar Beam me, please. Usually, um, she'll send out her Victory Bell. Yeah, she has a Victory Bell. I just had to spoil it. And it'll use Sunny Day, and then she'll bring out Blossom, and then immediately do Solar Beam after Sunny Day is laid down. Because if you have a Sunny Day going, you don't have to charge up for Solar Beam. And here's that Victory Bell now! So yay, I only spoiled it by a few seconds. It's gonna have Sunny Day, Synthesis, Acid, and Razor Leaf. And actually, uh, if you're using a Fire-type like me, Sunny Day works in your favor, because Sunny Day raises the power of Fire-type moves, though, so she is doing a double-edged sword. Awesome. Okay, and how did you not die? It's using Acid, which is the one Poison-type move that doesn't have Poison as a secondary effect. So, oh, yeah, you're doing a Hyper Potion. Like, I didn't see that coming. And how much you want to bet? It's just going to be back and forth. I get you down to red health, you hyper potion. I get you down to red health, you hyper potion. I don't know. If, I know you can't see me right now. That I'm bopping my head from side to side while I'm doing that. You know, to kind of like give it a feel like it's a pendulum going back and forth. Oh, okay. So you realize there's no way you can win as long as I have PP for Flame Wheel. Thank you for being a smart 1999 artificial intelligence and not doing that. Now for her last Pokemon, Jump Bluff, Mega Drain, Leech Seed, Cotton Spore, and Giga Drain. This thing is mainly just going to absorb your health. That is all it can do. It can just absorb your health and lower your evasiveness. That's all it does. Really not a good Jump Bluff. Like, there were good Jump Bluffs to begin with. Okay, yes, there are good Jump Bluffs, but still. Not very many, and it's a very representatory Pokemon. Awesome. Just awesome. Uh, I was hoping I wouldn't. I was hoping it was gonna do Cotton Spore so that I could let it die from the burn. Uh, and just to, as a taunt, we're gonna take you down. I'm gonna take you down by taking you down. Ha ha! And that is done. Rory grows to level 45. Awesome arrest, person. Okay. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I'll give you the rainbow badge. Okay. Okay, yes. Let's see here, I wish you'd have this TM. It is Giga Drain. I'll remove the drain half the damage and inflicts on your Pokemon. Use it if it pleases you. And we get Giga Drain. Awesome. Not really awesome because it's really not a good TM. But yes, Erica is at least nice enough to give you a TM, which I don't think the other Kanto gym leaders do give you in the uh, original game. Or in this game, I mean, not in the... I guess compared to the remake where all of them give you a TM. Uh, anyway, though, uh, we only have one more thing we're going to do here in Celadon before we're gone forever. Unless I do a Let's Play of another game that has Kanto in it, which I don't think I will. But, okay. Uh, we're going to need to head to the game corner. Players in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, be jealous! I'm playing the slots! And I won! Hey! Underneath this poster! There's nothing! Okay. 
Uh, just thought I'd go over the new Pokemon that you can find here in the game corner that we didn't cover last time that we were here. Uh, first off is Porygon. Porygon is somewhat of a good Pokemon. When it evolves into Porygon 2, it's a very nice defensive tank. Porygon Z is not part of the Johto decks, though, so I'm not counting it, though, as a sweeper. Um, but if you want a defensive normal type, it's not too bad of a choice. It's very versatile in the moves that it learns. Really unique. Um... Other than that, Youngster Joey interrupting my segment. You're right, it says looking sharper than before. At least not looking pointy. Okay. Uh, other than that, the only other new Pokemon you can find here is Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is a very good special attacker. If you want a good psychic type, by all means, Mr. Mime is a great choice. It, I used it in my Fire Red Let's Play, and you guys get to see just how good it was then. Uh, now that we're done here, I'm just going to go ahead and heal up real quick. Alright, now that we're finally done here in Celadon, after like a whole five minutes of video, we're going to be heading out to Route 16, and 17, and 18, which is Cycling Road. Uh, here on Cycling Road, there's one new Pokemon you can find here that you can't find elsewhere in battle. You're from Johto, huh? Okay, anyway. Anyway, that new Pokemon is Slugma. Slugma is a very slow, very defensive fire type. That does not very... That does not fit a fire type very well. Fire types generally need to be fast and need to do a lot of special damage. Uh, because of the fact they have a lot of weaknesses. So having a defensive fire type that is very slow, it's not a good matchup, not a good combination. I say skip on Slugma. There's many better fire types out there that are much more better suited for what fire types generally do with their move pools. And now that that is over, how much you want to bet this Weezing is going to poison us? How much you want to bet? Yep, 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 yep. You know what? Just poisoning Rory. I'm gonna send out my own wheezing. Ha! Mine sparkles. Mine's shiny. What the? Oh! I was gonna do that. Oh! You stole my thunder. I was gonna do that. Come on! That wasn't very nice. Whoa! You kick. I mean, I kick. Talk to a kid. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. You killed yourself. Uh... Damn it, bikers. Yeah, 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 Rory's hurting. Uh, can't believe it, I wanted to blow up. I don't even care if Rory's injured, I wanted to blow up. Okay, now well, that's over. We're here in Fuchsia. Or we're not. We beat Bob. Who uses birds on our bicycle? I wish I had a Pokemon name started with Bi so I could continue that pawn. That or that bone. Or I don't know. I don't know. I can't stop talking in that voice now. Great. Okay. So, we are here in Fuchsia City. In Fuchsia City, there is also a gym for us, which is the fifth gym in the classic order, which we're gonna take on here. Let's go ahead and take them on. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I was going with that. I really don't know. And as you can see where there's lines in the uh, floor, there's supposed to be walls there. And check it out. Everyone here looks exactly the same. It's a heaven of cute girls who are sucking their thumbs. <gasps> You're a fake. You don't really suck your thumb. You must die for that. You must die for your crimes. Er Ooh, she has a skirt. Okay, I'm just kidding. Alright, she has a Bulbasaur. It is a poison type gym, though, but a lot of the trainers here have psychic types and grass types. Don't ask why, I really don't know. Just the way the game designers put this thing. Or put put it together. Yeah. So, um, I don't know how many of you guys out there are Okami fans, though, but uh, I actually have my desktop set to an Okami Din wallpaper right now. Looking so forward to Okami Din. I hope it's good. It's the second game to Okami. It's coming out for the DS in Japan in September. It's supposed to be coming out in the U.S. next year. Looking so forward to it. I hope it's good. Uh, those of you that are saying, oh, it's not by the original creator, it sucks. Well, a lot of games aren't by the original creator. I mean, hell, Miyamoto hasn't been, like, the sole head of a Zelda game since, like, Link to the Past. Okay, so anyway. Uh, now that that is taken care of, we just have Ivysaur left, and for some reason she didn't save her strongest Pokemon for last. I don't know why trainers do that. I mean, logically, you'd want to save your strongest Pokemon for last, though, so that your foe doesn't know that they've got you done for if they beat your strongest. 
I'm just gonna file it under the Nintendo Logic folder and call it a day. Okay. So yes, you don't suck your thumb. You're not weak. I'm not weak. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we've made quite a bit of progress. We got another badge in this episode, and we made it to Fuchsia City, and we also made it part of the way through the gym. So anyway, next time on Pokemon Crystal, we're gonna be taking on the gym leader, who is this one. Trust me, it's this one. Okay, see you guys then.